So let's create an action that will return a single band. So it's gonna be another public I action result and I'll call it get band. And in order to get a single resource, we need to pass in the ID. So we'll pass the GUID of band ID. And just like we did for get bands, we will simply go to our repository and execute get band method by passing the band ID to it. So let's create a variable, I'll call it band from repo. And we'll go to our band repository dot get band. And the band, as you can see, expects an ID and that's the band ID that we are passing into this action. So this will return the single band based on the ID and now we can return it as a JSON result. So it's really pretty much the same like we did before. So it's gonna be return JSON result and we are returning band from repo. And again, this is just an action. We need to now route it to the URI request. So we'll designate it as HTTP GET. And remember, we have our route to set up as API slash bands, so we don't have to type that anymore. It's going to be API slash bands and then slash the ID of the band. So we will pass it in the curly braces and we'll pass it as band ID. We need to pass it as band ID so it matches the argument name that is passed into this action. If the argument name was only ID, then this would have to be ID as well. But we have it as band ID, so this is gonna be the argument in our URI call as well. And that's it, let's execute this. And let's go to our postman. And let's go to the band and let's pass in an ID of the one of the bands. Now, since we are using GUID, it's obviously hard to type. I keep all these IDs on my desktop so I can just copy paste them. And I advise you to do the same. And this is one of the reasons why I have the database recreated each time I run the application. So I use the same IDs, the same bands, the same albums. So I'll simply pass the ID for Guns N' Roses. And let's send it. And here is the band that matches the ID. So the request goes again to the localhost slash API slash bands that's on the controller level and then we simply pass in the ID of the band and we can pass another and this one should return oasis and here it is so it's working correctly but what happens if uh, we have invalid ID and non-existent ID hmm we don't return anything we get null but we still get 200 ok status so that's not correct. Obviously, this is a non-existent band, so it should return 404 not found. And it's returning 200 OK because we never really check if the band exists. And we are returning a JSON result on top of that, so it simply returns a null. So let's fix that.